welcome Chili Cube. I'm here on Sunshine Coast in Queensland, Australia. Somebody asked me where was I originally from. I'm from Birmingham in the United Kingdom. That's where I was born. Um, but I've lived in Australia for 39 years now. Rightio, this is a 60 by 30 canvas. I've put my um, masking tape on the bottom and these are called giant push pins. You get them from a stationery store or I have got them in my online uh, links below at the Amazon store or Capri in Australia, the Capriol Shabby Chic. Okie doke. I am going today playing with reds and purples together. So something really very delicious. So this was white and I've actually mixed it with some gold. And the gold is, I'll put it there a minute. I don't wanna lose it. The gold is the Prism Pour Ultra Metallic. And this color is, oh, Golden, golden Honey. So that was the Prism Pour. So I've mixed a bit in my white because I wanted it to go off-white. So it's kind of this creamy metallic off-white because the prism pour in this has made it look really sparkly. Um, I just thought I'd try it. I actually haven't put any of the prism pour in my ordinary um, global paint. So I'll just see if it works. And then I've mixed up some of the Prism Pour Golden Honey separate. So I'm hoping this really works deliciously with my reds and purples that I've got. So first of all, I am just coating with this. It looks a little bit thick, so I could probably add either a bit of water to that or a bit of Floetrol. So today I think I'm gonna just because I'm in Australia, so I can get Floetrol a lot easier. And I just always like to add a little bit to each of my global colors um, because it means that I don't have to add any um, silicon if I add a bit of Floetrol to any of my paints. It doesn't matter which ones. It always, um, it always helps. So I'll go with that today. And I'll give it a good old spreader, spreader, spreader. So I've just got this offset spatula, which is actually a cake icing knife. So you can get those from any homeware stores. And I think again, I've got them in my Amazon store as well. So just give it a nice even coat. So really sort of had my mind on some of the berry delicious sort of really nicey fruity berry colors today so i've got this nice size canvas and i'm i'm gonna have some fun because i literally have been um ill along with my husband for a week now with um we thought it was COVID, but we didn't test for COVID. So it was just some kind of nasty influenza virus of some description, but um, we're good now. We're getting, we're getting there. So I'm really happy to be back in my studio painting. I'll add a little bit more of that. So my paint is gonna slide over this. The added colors will slide over nicely. Not too worried about the edges at this point because my paints will probably blow over the edges, but they're always something that you can fix. Rightio. Not too much fuss on that. That was easy peasy. So just wipe, wipe your knife off. Rightio. Really excited to be working with these colors today that are mixed up so I'll explain to you as we go along right here so I'm gonna start with my berry delicious now this is a custom color and it is a darkest red you've got add a just a blob of phalo blue and a blob of black and it makes this gorgeous black cherry really really lovely so that's the first color 
and I'm going to do, what did I want to do? A different composition. So I'm going to kind of go straight with my colours and then I'm going to section it off here and I'm going to section it off there. I'm not into measuring and doing anything exact. It's all um, just good fun. So then this one is my, oh, what do you call it? Cool, cool red, cool red. So we'll go my cool red in here. Kind of a yeah, a different composition. So you have to try these different things. They could work out winners or sinners. <laughs> You've just got to try it. So this is the ultraviolet, lovely purpley colour. So that's going to be real nice mixed in with my berry delicious along there. That's it, that's it, that's it. And then I've got one which is kind of, it is was purple, like a deep purple, but it kind of looking navy for whatever reason, but I'm sure it's gonna be pretty fine. Put some of that in. Ooh, 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 ooh. That didn't work as planned, but just go with the flow. Go with the flow. And then I'm going to add some of that gorgeous honey, golden honey. So hopefully that should give it the real zingy pop, shouldn't it? The zingy pop. Wow. That is so ultra metallic, as it says. That is gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Radio. I think I might need just a little bit of my light color either side, so as to give it lots of um, paint to be able to make it move, blow with. Well, let's um, see how this ultra metallic actually um, marries with my global colors. These are how things are discovered, you know, in the art world or any world is just by exper exper experimentation. So you never know if you don't try. It's bursting the air bubbles. This little dry hair dryer is a baby Bayless. It's one of the best ones I've found so far. Let's try this. Let's go with the flow, literally. Should I start from the middle out? Yeah, maybe I will. Maybe I won't. Maybe I will. Let's, ah, goodness, I don't know where to go. Oh my god, those colours!
bit too much there. Wow, it's probably a lot of paint, but I can tell you the colours are so rich and gorgeous together, especially that berry delicious, the ultraviolet, the purple with that gold floating on top. Wowzers, trousers, absolutely spectacular. Love it, love it. Probably got a little bit heavy handed down here. I lost the, that sort of composition, but you know, it's absolutely fine. But of course I wanna add some jelly embellishments here. Don't look if you don't want me to do it, but it's just gonna take off some of that heavy paint where I've put too much paint in there. And it won't actually make a balloon kiss look. I can make it look bit softer. I'm going to still work with this so bear with me. This will help me put a bit of the white back in there by using the balloon as my tool and that's perfectly okay to do. Remember the only rule is there's no rules. So I will probably not do any more with the big balloon but as it starts to dry, I might use some teeny tiny embellishments with my, this is just an ordinary size balloon, but I'll put it over the water tap and put a bit of water in just to add some weight to it. It just seems to give a little bit of a better effect. I may be um, wrong, but you know, it's my thing, so I go with it that is gorgeous. It's just bringing up some of the nice effects. You don't have to do this and you might think it's better without it. Well, when you do your piece, then that's what you do. You just looking for inspiration and you can change it any way you choose. I am absolutely over the moon with this. It's really nice and vibrant and it's a little bit different composition that I think work quite well except for my putting being a bit heavy-handed here but I believe that that's gonna be that's gonna come around and look super duper that gold in it just gives it the real richness in there and it's so sheeny shiny when I bring you down for the close-ups, you will see. So you can literally do anything with your balloon, a little roll, a little kiss. That's got a bit heavy paint there. So it helps me get some of the heavier paint out or the lot of paint where it might take a long time to dry. And you just keep wiping it. You can certainly put your balloon kiss onto another canvas to create a whole different another piece of art but that is gorgeous that's super duper I don't really want to do anything to that now I just want to bring some of that gold up a bit I'm super duper happy with that I'm going to bring you down to have a look at this because it's very nice I'm not sure about the composition if, if it you know would work better differently but I'm super happy with the results anyway it's very uh, delicious looking delicious I'll bring you down well just look at this I'm not sure if it's bringing up showing you the color it is just gorgeous it has some nice little lacy cells every here and there but just lovely movement in it. I just think my balloon work, for me personally, it's what adds to it. It adds character to it. It adds depth and almost like a 3D floating look. But certainly that colour match is perfect. 
is beautiful. Now I want to do a different technique with those exact colours and I have lots of them left. So you may see something in these lovely colours because I'm super duper happy with that. What do you think guys? Let me know. I would be very interested to see if it was a winner or a sinner or a, a lemon or a, or a, what do they say opposite to a lemon when it works? I can't remember. A winner. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. We will see. So uh, hopefully it dries beautifully, which I think it actually will. The paint often just absorbs into the canvas and looks really lovely with the dried piece. So hope you like it. Thank you for watching. Please join me tomorrow. And if you haven't subscribed, hit the subscription button. It costs you absolutely nothing. And the notifications would be nice because otherwise videos often get lost in all of the um, many, many that there is out there. <laughs> okay, my lovelies, stay safe. Bye for now.